Hi guys, welcome to Kessie's Cuisine, where we make amazing dishes from the comfort of your home. Happy New Year guys! <laughs> and for our first video of the year, we're going to be making mashed potatoes and lamb frames. Now this dish was super easy and it was very flavorful. We're going to walk through the video and I'm going to tell you all about this easy recipe. I'm going to be using Irish potato for this video because we have two kinds of potatoes, sweet and Irish, but I'm using Irish potato. Now for our potato, for you to be able to get like a very even cooked potato, we are going to cut our potato into tiny cubes, like not so big because we want everything to cook evenly and we want um, it to be able to match properly. So you see how they are in this video they are not so big but they are in cubes you can make yours smaller if it's convenient for you but this is what my potato look like when i was done cutting now after this we are going to put the potato on fire now what is going to make your potato cook evenly and at the end of the day it's not so matchy and um, I don't know what to say <laughs> but what makes it cook nicely is that you cook your potato with cold water like you don't allow your potato to start you don't allow your water to start boiling before you put the potato you make like you put your cold water on fire you put your cold water and then you put your potato inside and then you put it on, on fire now if you want to add salt you can add salt and then while I was bringing my potato to a bowl, I, it was the right time for me to spice my lamb frip and fry it or grill as you prefer. So I added some barbecue sauce, I added black pepper and I added some seasoning cube to this ribs. Uh, you want to rub generously and for the last part I added, I coated everything with flour. And I just fried it. I added this goat spice because it is very nice for beef or anything beef. So I put it with flour and then I allowed it to marinate for about 10 to 15 minutes before I decided to fry mine. I did that off camera so you'd want to fry yours on a very low heat. Now you want to check your potato and how you know your potato is ready. It's when your potato is fork tender so if it's fork tender yes it is ready you would want to sieve your potato like sieve out all the water and then <clears throat> you want to sieve out all the water and when you're done sieving out the water you want to pour it back into the pot i pour mine back into the pot to make sure that the potato is very dry and because you don't need like water residues at the end because you want it to give you like you want it to be as fluffy as possible so you put it on fire on low heat you stir and when it was dry when the pot like everything in the pot was dry that's when you will transfer it to a bowl and then you transfer to a bowl you want to do it in beats so that when maybe you match evenly now for your matching you can use whatever kind of um matcha that you have you can use uh, a protect a, a potato matcha you can use this hand matcha i'm using if you don't have any of it you can just use your fork or your spoon just make sure you do it in beats so that everything comes out evenly now if you have watched this part of the video and you have not subscribed to my channel please 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 subscribe like share this video it goes a long way in encouraging us to do more videos for you now when you match your potato to a certain extent, you want to add melted butter. This gives us a very unique flavor. It just gives you gives it a flavor that wants you to eat more and more and more. So I wanted to add butter or I prefer to add butter. And when you stay, when you add butter and then you keep on stirring, you want to add your milk. You can decide to do this or not, but I like doing this because it gives it a very <clears throat> flavorful um, taste. Now you want to stir everything. Just make sure that everything is well combined um, in the bowl. When you're done with this, you can go like you can be very creative 
and flexible with things. When you're done, you don't want to plate, serve, you can serve with gravy. But for me, I decided to just serve with melted butter to design my potato. My lamb fruit was ready, my potato was served, and this was amazing. And it is very filling also when you ate this, like you just find out that you're before. Thank you guys for watching. Please just subscribe and see you in the next video. Bye. Love you.